Okay, Astros, you had one job today, and you couldn't even do that. Hey guys, it's Josh, and now you know it all. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video. Let's dive right into this because I want to. I just want to focus on this. So guys, today the Houston Astros had their long-awaited uh, press conference discussing the cheating scandal, and right off the bat, God, <laughs> the owner of the Astros, Crane, just made himself look stupid, made the organization look stupid. Uh, he would say one thing, and when a reporter would quote it back to him, he would say, oh, I didn't say that. When you're being recorded by multiple people, by with phones, cameras, this and that, you can't say something and the very next sentence say, well, I didn't say that. You just, you look stupid. And this drives me nuts. The Astros had weeks to prepare for this. Weeks! And they still couldn't even get the most basic of apologies right. Uh, Bregman looked like he was a robot with his hands doing this. It was so uncomfortable to watch the, what was it, 45-second apology from him. It was bad. Altuve at least was a little bit better. And I will give him credit when when they got him in the clubhouse and reporters were talking to him without his prepared statement. It was a little bit better. Wasn't great. I still still don't have a lot of respect for, for him at this point, especially not for Bregman. Don't have a lot of respect for him, especially now. Uh, actually, in all of this, there's only one person who I've really looked at and go, oh, well, his statement's kind of seem you know honest and and to the point and that's carlos correa i mean he flat out said what we did was wrong we're sorry about that you know there's no denying it we we did it it happened um and then he went on to defend cora and you know and just say you know cora didn't force anyone to do this and they said you know beltran didn't force anybody to do this you know everyone chose to do it everyone could have stopped this at any time and no one stepped up and did that he goes we, we're all to blame no one is innocent in this you know all that stuff and so for for that i i actually kind of respect carlos correa a little bit more yes he cheated but he was flat out honest we all had the chance to stop it none of us chose to stop it we all participated in this and that honesty is what i want as a fan i just i just want honesty you know, because let's be honest, we know they cheated. We know this all happened. This isn't um, this isn't some if they did they. There are Astros fans who are actually have recorded and documented th the cheating scandal themselves and said, yeah, here it is. Here's the proof. So I'm just looking for the Astros to come out and say, here's all they had to do. Here's all they had to do. Come out and say, we apologize for what we did. And the negative impact it's had on the game, we know that what we did was wrong. We are sorry about that. And we know that it's going to take time for us to earn respect back. And it's going to take time for us to help the help the world of baseball heal and move on past this. That's really all they had to say. Yes, we did it. We're sorry about it. We know it had a negative impact on the game. And it is our goal moving forward to be a positive impact and change things for the better. That's not hard. That's not hard to say. That's not hard to do. Um, so this just comes down to the front office, the public relations, the media people for the Astros. They don't know what they're doing. They do not know what they're doing. They're lost. They're, they're out there. Carlos Correa, like I said, I listened to his statements and I, I, I'll, I'll cheer for him. I'll, I'll be honest. I like Correa enough that what he said, his honesty... I'm okay with it. I, I'm I'm willing to move past it. That's all I wanted. I just wanted these guys to say, hey, we did this. We admit it. We screwed up. It hurt the game. It tarnished the game. We're sorry. That's it. Had they just said that, I'd have been like, okay. Well, good. We can get past this now. But they didn't do that. They, they, they made it worse. They literally made a bad situation worse. And it's Crane's fault. I'm going to put it around there. It's Crane's fault. Just a few weeks ago, he came out and was like, oh, this was 
Alex Cora, it's all his fault. And Beltran, it's all his fault. And AJ Hinch, it's all his fault. And now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, no, it's all your fault. You're the idiot who knew this was going on as an owner and encouraged it, pushed it, wanted it to happen. You're at fault. And yes, still blame the players. Still blame the players. But at the same time, this is a fiasco. This is an absolute fiasco made worse today by the Astros themselves. Just come out like, like Correa did and say, we cheated. We, we apologize for that. It messed with the game. It had a negative impact. And we're sorry. Let's move forward. As a fan, I can say, okay, that he was telling the truth. I, I appreciate that. He understands what's going on. But the rest of the Astros have no idea the impact. They don't understand it. Many of their fans, not all their fans, some of their fans are smart. They understand. They, they get what's going on. But a lot of their fans don't get it. They don't get how mad baseball is at them. I am a Seattle Mariners fan. My team is not a playoff team, not going to be a playoff team, and I'm furious with this. I, I'm, I'm hoping that there are fights with the Astros every series and that guys get, get thrown at and that type of stuff. I don't want guys to get hurt because that's this is still just a game, but I want them to pay a price because they don't get it. They just don't get it. And yes, are there other teams that have cheated? Absolutely. Do I think they should be punished and called out and put in front for the media? Absolutely. Every single player, every single coach, every GM, every team. This should happen to every team. That's how you clear the board. That's how you wipe things clean. And if that happens, good. I'm okay with it. If it's my Mariners, I'll be the first one to stand up and say they really suck at cheating because they can't win, they can't score, they can't do anything right. Um, it should be one more thing they can't do right. Which is why I don't think they were cheating, because you can't be that bad, can you, and still be cheating? I don't know. But the Astros, you can't win a World Series in a year in which you cheated with a report that states you cheated during that postseason and say it didn't impact the game. If it didn't impact the game, then why were you cheating? You cheat because it makes an impact and gives you an advantage. That's why you do it. That's it. So guys, I'm Josh, the Now You Know It All. Yes, I'm a little fired up. It's been a horrible offseason for baseball. Just atrocious. One thing after another. It does not end. Spring training is here. That's great. I'm excited for that. More importantly, college baseball is here. I got some awesome you know, conversations going on right now with some summer league stuff. I'm pumped. That way I can focus on the good in baseball and less about the Major League Baseball side of things. But... I got to talk about this. I mean, I can't have a daily baseball little YouTube show and not talk about the biggest story of the off season, the biggest story of the day. I just can't. I hope I can. Hope soon that this is done. But it would have been a lot easier had the guys just come out and said, but once again, we screwed up. We made huge mistakes. We tarnished the game. We're sorry. We apologize. We'll do better. That's it. That's it. 20 seconds. Done. Fans can go, okay, they at least understand the impact they had. They said they were sorry, whether it's real or not. They said it, move on. But they didn't do that. So, guys, I'm once again, I'm fired up. I'm, I'm a little hot. But I just don't know what else to say. I, I want this story to go away. I want it to end. I want it to be done. And every time it's about to go away, about to be done, someone screws